Dark Knights with Poe and Monroe. You're listening to Radio August. Dark Nights with Poe. And Monroe. You can never find the right button, Poe. Not at all. I'm merely demonstrating that this shows the cat's meow. And on that note, what's next, Monroe? It's on the schedule, silly. I know that. I'm just making it sound like you have a choice. Okay, then. What shall I choose? Let me see. I choose dreams and nightmares. Dreams and nightmares. With no, wait. And Monroe. I choose Poe's Curiosity Shop. Welcome to Poe's Curiosity No, I've changed my mind again. I choose Dreams and Nightmares. Dreams and Nightmares. With Poe Excellent and Monroe. choice, Monroe. I didn't have one really, did I? You always have a choice, Monroe. But that doesn't mean you can change things. Maybe you should try interpreting the next call this dream, Poe. I fear I would lack your warmth and insight. You have the ability to turn even the most ghoulish visions into something hopeful. Not always. Do you suffer from nightmares, Munro? Doesn't everyone? Tell me about yours. Well, there is this one I've been having lately. Go on. I can't see. I'm stumbling around trying to feel my way in the pitch black, but I keep bumping into people. It's like I'm trying to push through this crowd, but they don't know that I'm there. Perhaps you're feeling isolated. Hmm, maybe. But I'm not interested in them. They're just in my way. It's like I'm searching for something. The number nine. But what does nine represent, Poe? Well, according to Dante, there are nine levels of hell. Well, I feel so much better now. I did warn you. Perhaps you should help our next caller. They're already waiting. Frankie, you're live with Monroe. Hi, Frankie. What a beautiful voice you have. Well... Thank you. I think all voices are beautiful. What do you think to Poe's voice? I hate it. Okay. So, what's your dream, listener? I'm in August, and wherever I go, all I can hear is the radio. It's everywhere. It's loud and relentless, but there's this... bird. She cuts through the noise and guides me. I listen to the bird, and I fall blissfully asleep. That's very interesting. People dream about their surroundings a lot. And a dream within a dream? That's nothing to worry about either. What do you think, Poe? I think you have a hardcore fan, Munro. 
What did the bird look like, Frankie? Beautiful. Angelic. But it's trapped in a cage. A prison. But there's only one warden. And the warden is weak. There's a warden? Another bird. With a rumbling voice that makes me angry. It plumes its feathers, but my bird? The one that calls me? She's not interested in him. And she's caged. Munro, this is obviously a prank. He's talking about us and trying to be funny. But it's a dream. I never said it was a dream. Well, I think um, we've had quite enough of this. Listen to the ward and jangling his keys. Don't you see he's imprisoned you, Ellis? Well, um, Frankie, we don't use our first names on air, so... I've cut the call. Is that a good idea? Well, what was I supposed to do? Help him. He needed help. Don't encourage him, Alice. These kinds of things must be nipped in the bud. Are we still live? Sorry, listeners. (laughs) This was a very strange call. I hope you'll agree. Frankie, if you're still listening, I do apologize for Poe. He can get very protective. I kind of get your analogy now. Do I, Munro? Very well, then. Standing down. Oh, listeners, we've upset him now. Poe's got all frowny face. What's that? This. Oh, it's nothing. What is it? It's nothing. Give it to me. How long is the break for? Give it to me. All in good time, so how long? Three minutes. Okay, I'm going to make some tea for us. You stay here. You're making tea for me? I do it all the time. What's going on? Give me the note or I'm leaving. Of course, we must have continued drama, mustn't we, Alice? What's that supposed to mean? I'm going to kill you. What the hell, Paul? Why were you hiding this from me? It's just some psychotic listener, that's all. Frankie? Not necessarily. We have lots of psychotic listeners. How can you joke about this as a death threat? It's clearly a death threat. I knew it would upset you, but I'm an old hand at this, Alice. People see you as a celebrity. It makes them do abnormal things, but they're just normal people. When did you find it? Someone slipped it under the door. Just now? Well, yes, but it's nothing to worry about. We've been getting them for the last few weeks. Weeks? Maybe a month. So that could be a killer behind the door. Maybe, but never when I've looked. Oh. It isn't locked, Alice. People can just walk in anyway. Oh! There! I told you it was nothing to worry about. Tea? You're not going out there. You're going live. Understood. I think I'm going to go home. Don't be like that. How could you keep this from me? I thought you cared about me. What if I'd been killed? You know, I'd never let anyone hurt a single hair on your head. Well, that's not entirely true, is it? I don't know what you mean. You know exactly what I mean. Let's not get into that now. We're back with our listeners in three, two... You'd have been a sacrificial shish kebab if it wasn't for me. (laughs) <laughs> oh, Bo, that sounds like a great story, but it'll have to wait, because we're back with our listeners and more dreams and nightmares. Okay, who's our next listener? It's 
Frankie again. Put him through. Frankie, you're live with Monroe. I didn't finish what I had to say. I'm sorry about that. You can carry on now. Sometimes the radio gets too much. It makes me... frustrated. So I go into the belly of the beast, and I hide, and I listen, and I wait. So this is a dream that breaks into other dreams. Of course, there are no segues for dreams. Poe? The belly of the beast. Have you been leaving messages, Frankie? Yes, John. Yes, I have. Have you been getting them? What did the messages say? I'm going to kill you. I see. And why would you dream about wanting to kill me, Frankie? Hello? Police? Help! Someone's threatening to kill Poe right now on Radio August. It's not a dream, John. I'm coming for you. And Alice. The police can hear you, Frankie. You're live on air. They will find you. Better hope they're not too late. No, don't. I'm not hiding, Monroe. Just wait for the police. Hide. Hide. self-defense, wasn't it? Yes? You saved me. You saved both of us. <laughs> 